Hi, I'm Mel Parsons with another episode of Seattle Rain or Shine. I want to make sure you love where you live, so I'm telling you about some places you've got to know about. Today, we're at the Taproot Theatre Company in the Greenwood neighborhood. This place makes for a night of excellent entertainment. You can go grab drinks across the street and come on over and watch a show. Also, if you happen to have dramatic kids like myself, they have camps in the summer that the kids rave about. Today, I'm gonna to interview Scott Nolte, the founder, and we can learn more. Come on in. All right, so here we are with Scott Nolte, one of the founders of Taproot Theater, and I'd love to just hear a little bit about how it all came about. Temperate Theater was formed in 1976, so we've been around That's for a long time. before I was formed. I'm really, now I'm old. Yeah. But thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> and there were six of us who were graduating from Seattle Pacific College, I think, at that point, and said, let's, let's start a theater. We were too young to know any different. Okay. And so the, the miracle is we're still here, 43 yeah. years later, housed here in downtown Greenwood, we call it. Yep. And it's just a great place to be. We're growing. Other than being a theater that's planted itself in a neighborhood, mm -hmm. what are some other things that makes Taproot Theater different than other theaters around town? You know, our, our slogan is, is a theater of hope. So there has been sort of that tone of the kind of material we we're looking for, uh, for the main stage and our touring and our acting studio kind of work. And so that there is a sense of the kind of plays we can do, dramas, tragedies, musicals, uh, comedies, there's still a sense of we are better people. I mean, spent two hours in the dark watching this play, and it's a great conversation starter. And we have had a, a strong presence in the schools for more than 30 years of plays that help kids sort through what life looks like. And right now, the plays that deal with bullying and harassment and social media manipulation, all these sorts of things that kids are dealing with, yeah. well, this sort of is the nerve center of how those plays are developed and rehearsed and then sent out uh, statewide. Yeah. And we have an acting studio, so we're working with uh, small children, the little ones who mm -hmm. are dressing up like butterflies, yep. we, all the way through seniors who may be struggling with early stage memory loss yeah. and how they can have an acting class experience which keeps the creativity and the socializing, uh, socializing skills and even memories uh, alive and vibrant. They'll we we also chose to be in Greenwood so that we could be part of a business community that really had each other's back. Mm -hmm. And so we moved here in, in the late 80s. Yeah, there were 12, 14 empty storefronts mm -hmm. within a block of us. Right. And today there are <laughs> small restaurants, there's yeah. a number of new shops, there's a lot of development going on so that it's, it's really rebounded in a really lovely way. Mm -hmm. And so you could spend a day in Greenwood by doing some shopping, having a delightful lunch, come see a show, and still go out for a dessert or drink afterwards. I know it is. It's great. It's, it's, I love it. It's super great. I mean, it's... Why don't you live in Greenwood? Hard, I bet there's would a... Would you like to buy a house in Greenwood? Can anyone tell me where I could buy a house in Greenwood? I wonder yes. who knows. Oh! I got you. So what it comes down to is this. You have got to experience this place. Go to taproottheater.org to look up their season of shows and all that they have to offer. Thanks for watching Seattle Rain or Shine. We'll be coming at you again soon from some other awesome place around the city. Bye.